Number 77. Write the Lewis structures of the reactants and product of each of the following equations, and then identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay. So yeah, Lewis structures shouldn't be uh, new here, right? We've spent a whole chapter in this in this channel about how to draw Lewis structures, you know, from top to bottom. So if you guys need more, uh, you know, information about how to write Lewis structures, just go back to that chapter on the channel. I think it's like chapter seven in the textbook, uh, but you could always go back to the playlists and just see which one it is. So this one will kind of be a generalized version of how to draw Lewis structures. The only thing that's new here is drawing out the, you know, which one is the acid and which one is the base. I wrote down here the number of valence electrons boron and fluorine have, and now we're ready to go. So let's look, BF3. Remember, least electronegative is always in the, the central atom. So it seems like we have boron surrounded by three fluorines. So one, two, and three. Boron has one, two, three valence electrons. Fluorine has seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So dots all around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's bond it up. Always a single bond first, and then we check. So single, single, single. And it seems like everybody's good here. All the fluorines have the octet. And remember, boron is one of those exceptions where neutral, no charge, it has six electrons, aka three bonds. Okay, so this plus F minus. So now it's just a fluorine. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this negative charge just means that you gained one electron. So I'm just going to put it next to this lonely electron here. Boom. Now it has the octet and it has a negative charge. It's the only element. So this has to be the negative charge. Now let's see what's going on here. Well, it seems like the boron is still the center, but now it has the four fluorines around it. I'm just going to copy this because it stems off of this, right? Here's the boron with the three. And it seems like I just have room up top here to add another fluorine. So let's go for it. Fluorine. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But remember, this is a negative charge. That also means this compound gained one electron. And more chances than not, put it with the more electronegative element. So that's this. Now, wait a minute. Do you see how these two are exactly the same? But now somehow I have to combine these two. Well, this is the idea based off of what Lewis bases and acids are. It seems that this atom or the ion F minus has the two lone pairs in order to make the two lone electrons to make the bond between the F and the B, right? The boron does not have any electrons, but the fluorine says, hey, I have two. I can give them to you and we can share. So what's gonna happen is these two electrons, which are these two electrons, are now just going to go in and share between the F and the B. And when that happens, these are not longer any more, you know, lone electrons, they're now a bond. So now we have a bond between the F and the B, and this is those two electrons. So what exactly happened is these electrons went right into the boron. Now, if we actually just did the formal charges to find out who has that negative, it's actually the boron now that has the negative charge. So I'm just going to put that there. But now from here, we can find out which one was the Lewis base and which one was the Lewis acid. Keep in mind that the Lewis base and the Lewis acid are only the reactant side. We just use the product just to see what happened. But the one that always kickstarts this idea, it's these lone electrons. The one that donates, that's always the base. And chances are, if you do see that you have a negative charge, which is this guy, that will be the Lewis base. 
So this one was the one that kickstarted the whole thing off. This has to be the Lewis base. It had the lone pair to donate to the boron. And that would be the Lewis acid. And that is the end for the question. There you go, guys. What do you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you all. My brother and I would thank you from the bottom of my heart. This journey has been incredible, and I'm really glad that we can help you in your classes. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.